Lamed. Lamed is the twelfth letter, and Lamed is one of my favorite mnemonics because it really does resemble a lightning bolt. So we have Lamed and the lightning bolt, and there are three steps as you see how to write Lamed. Mem. Mem is our thirteenth letter, and Mem somewhat resembles a mountain, but it has a little crooked tree there. So make sure when you draw Mem, you have the little extension on the top left, and then also there's a slight gap or hole toward the bottom. So we have Mem as a mountain, and there are about three steps for Mem, so you can go ahead and try to practice your Mem. Mem Sofit is here, and this is the final form of the letter Mem. Again, we would use the Mem Sofit at the end of a word that ends in Mem, and it's the square mountain cousin of Mem. It looks like a little box, but you'll notice a little extension at the top left. Now, here in the book, I've shown you three steps to write Mem Sofit, but you can also write it this way. I find that this way tends to be a little easier, but whatever's comfortable, go ahead and practice your mem sofit. I do want to point something out here. If you'll notice on your mem sofit, if you did not write the bottom line, can you guess what letter it would be? I'll go ahead and give you a clue. Now you see there, the mem sofit resembles which letter? The chet, which we learned previously. So um, just keep in mind, some of the letters are very similar, and the more and more you practice, you'll, you'll begin to recognize which is which. So I did want to point that out about mem sofit. Mem sofit does resemble chet without the bottom line. Noon. Noon is the 14th letter, and this is the one that I mentioned that earlier on that resembles a cough, but it's going to be shorter. And I have for Noon, the brain boost is that Noon knows the news. It's kind of holding up a newspaper there. And Noon has three steps, as you see there. Noon also has a final form, and there you see the Noon Sofit. Keep in mind that it does resemble a Kaf Sofit, but it's got a shorter top and there's no extension or tail at the top. So that's Noon Sofit, and it knows the news with its cousin Noon. Noon Sofit's very easy, two steps. Just make sure the body is extended pretty long for Noon Sofit. Alright, so we're moving on to our review, and as you know, we start with our sing-along. Now we'll go ahead and sing the Lamed Mem Noon. Here's the melody for that. Lamed Mem Noon. After you've practiced singing with your student and having them repeat, then go ahead and sing together. And then we'll begin from the very beginning, which you learned in Unit 2. We'll begin with Aleph and sing all the way to Noon.
In this course review, it begins from the very beginning, our introduction of the Exploring Aleph Bait series, and it goes all the way to the Nun Sofit. And notice here that we've introduced three new vocabulary words for love, father, and mother. So as you go through with these questions, you'll notice there are new vocabulary words, and um, beginning with the 13th question down to the 18th, they all relate to your vocabulary. All right, so as you've um, seen earlier, every two lessons we have a review for the previous two units. So here's our review for unit four and five. You'll see there are plenty of rows of practice for Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf, Kaf Sofit, Lamed, Mim, Mim Sofit, Nun, and Nun Sofit. And I want to mention, although there are some dotted lines for tracing, when you do your own boxes and you're practicing your writing, you do not have to write them as large as the tracing boxes. You can write them much smaller. And here's a little example there. Um, when I was practicing, obviously, you know, as you're writing, you won't use such a large space. So you can feel free to write them smaller, whatever's comfortable. Just make sure you have the proper slant and alignment as you're writing. Also for our additional worksheets we have our brain boosters and um, just like we discussed before the first one is done for you as you see there there are going to be 10 brain boosters and the first one shows that Tet is the little turtle tank and then as you go through you'll get those mnemonics for the brain boosters and you can go ahead and write the Hebrew letter that applies to the sentence. The next worksheet, again, will be your fill-in-the-blank and matching, and this is for units four and five. Then on the next worksheet, again, we're going to continue on with the Disciples' Prayer, also known as the Lord's Prayer. This is the next part of it, and you're going to be looking for the letters Chet, Yud, Lamed, and Mem Sofit. And then there are the questions that apply. So we'll go ahead and take a moment so that you can begin to train your eyes to read Hebrew beginning at the right there's the Hebrew text there and then we'll go back and for those doing the video course you can go ahead and make note and count how many Chet, Yud, Lamed, and Mim Sofit you find and then I'll go ahead and post the answers at the end <laughs> 